Um, okay, so we are against... Is this a stun deck? I didn't see the early part. Yeah, so this would be a, uh, a stun deck. Of course, it's got the Swain level up condition too, but when you see Yasuo in a deck, you can feel fairly certain that there's just going to be a lot of stuns. You know, you can't run Yasuo unless you can do that. So, um... All right, I like Avaros and Sentry here. Ravenous Butcher is an auto kick unless we have a uh, Curse Keeper. Um, Callista. Uh, Callista, I would actually kick Callista here, and I'll sort of explain why after you do it. Mm -hmm. um, our deck uh, is going to win against this deck by using tokens. Uh, so I like Omen Hawk here for sure. Um. The thing about a stun deck is that it's really good against uh, decks that have one central powerful minion uh, that, you know, sort of dominates the board. Um, because, you know, if, if, uh, if something like a Fiora can't attack, you know, how's it going to close out a game? And so mm -hmm. that's why I said kick Callista, because... It sort of localizes the power a little too much. Yeah. Um, so this looks like a great Cursed Keeper setting up for a uh, Blighted Caretaker on three. Okay. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking block for the card draw, but yeah, looking at turn three, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let the uh, sewer make I, I would definitely block, yep. Yeah, block the 1-1 one, one with the 1-1. One, one. Um... You know, it just removes a blocker, uh, setting up for an amazing turn. I mean, that's kind of a questionable play, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. So what are the cards you want to look out for in this deck? You know, this might be a worthwhile addition to the document. Um, yeah, the stun and Ravenous Flock seems to be getting me all the time. <laughs> Ravenous Flock is a, an extremely annoying card. Yeah, you, you, you can feel good to Blighted Caretaker here, but I, I sort of want to explain why I think it's okay to Blighted Caretaker. The five mana... Oh, you... There's also um, uh, Arachnoid Sentry, which he might play right here, which would be fine if he played Arachnoid Sentry, uh, because uh, then we still get four damage in and we kill the 2-2 two -two blocker. Uh, uh, oh, Unless we get two damage in. Yeah, so there we go. So now we kill the 3-2 two and the 2-2 two -two and we still get two damage in, which is okay. still just an efficient trade. Um, beautiful. Great. Um, what's so good is that, like, you're at the ELO where, um, you know, it becomes less about... Uh, oh, yeah, so there's the Ravenous Flock. I mean, it's... Ravenous Flock is one of those cards that you, like, just can't really play around. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you can play around it, sort of, um, but you know it's coming out. It's like Mystic Shot. You know, you know it's coming out. It's going to happen. Um... Okay, so uh, Yasuo is one of those cards that's like, um, he's a four drop, but it, he requires four whole mana to play, and he sort of brings the tempo of the oppo opposing deck to a halt. Um, oh. And so this is the time when you want to be playing out those tokens. Um, so you're right, uh, Hapless Aristocrat is beautiful here. Um, because you can block, uh, you can chump block the 4-4 four four and you still get the spider. Um, beautiful. Actually, that might have been worth it to glimpse. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we should have glimpsed the, um, but I mean, we, yeah, we don't want to, yeah, the, I, I rescind that, because uh, I think we should probably just play out all of our units mm -hmm. and open attack um, next turn. So I'll sort of explain a little bit. So, um, so okay, he's on five mana. Uh I've been thinking about this the whole game, but Intimidating Roar is a 5-mana slow-speed card that stuns all of your, like, what is it, 4 or less power minions. Um, so now that he's on 5-mana, we know we need to open attack because that will basically eviscerate our board. 
Uh, gotcha. Then, what are we scared for fast-wise? Well, there is Concussive Palm, there's um, uh, the Yasuo uh, Windy thing that's now two mana. Okay, so he didn't use anything. Um, I, I think we don't glimpse beyond here. Uh, we Because he can still actually kill our units by stunning them and dealing two damage to them. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, so the reason I was happy with taking that attack is that, uh, we knew that we could glimpse beyond anything that he tried to reactively stop. Um, uh, mm-hmm. so I like the Omen Hawk here as well. Uh, so I wouldn't end turn yet. I think he's at two mana. He actually can't, um, oh, beautiful. Yeah, now we don't even need to worry. Uh, so I would uh, glimpse beyond the spider here. Uh, now we're finally safe to do that. My stream is a, a little, or your stream is a little delayed for me because I can hear the sounds. Uh, beautiful. We get an Elise. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we could just play out Elise here. Okay. What would be the line of thinking of not playing it? Uh, intimidating roar. But I'm, oh, I guess. Just, I'm just thinking like if he intimidating roars, then we get the two one uh, card draw, and uh, we already have kind of a cool combo with Neverglade and uh, and the haunted spirits. You know, uh, I think we don't want we want to make sure that oh. Okay, end round. What does that mean? So he passed. Yeah. Most people would probably play Neverglade Collector here. I think, uh, uh, oh, maybe, we. what is the card text for Intimidating Roar again? Is it four or less power? Stun all enemies with four or less power. So our Neverglade only has four. If we were to play it here, he would be like, all righty, uh, Ravenous, uh, I mean, uh, um, Intimidating Roar into Ravenous Flock, kill your thing immediately. Easy money. Um, I think I think we just let him end the round here. Uh, I think we're fine with that. Uh, we have some... We're threatening some really cool stuff. Um, so, I, yeah, I would just go in for an attack here. We just don't want to let him get off that Intimidating Roar. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause I, we both know he has it. Everyone yeah. knows that he has it. So he doesn't want to sacrifice his Yasuo. He's going to stun with something. Makes sense. Um... Uh, yeah, it might, it might actually be worthwhile to, well, we can do that afterwards. Uh, we can okay this. We want to put the onus on him to, uh, act, because we want him to use Intimidating Roar really bad. Mm. So, um, oh yeah, uh, okay, I would Vile Feast the, uh, the 1-1. One one. Um, and yeah, you can just okay that. Uh, here's the scary thing. Um, you know, we've been playing around Intimidating Roar so hard, he indicated last turn that he might have it because he passed in a weird way. Yeah. Um, the issue is we can't actually reliably win with our They Who Endure combo because of how many stuns he has. Mm-hmm. Um, now, stun doesn't stop atrocity, which is the good thing. Uh, but that means we need both of those cards, which isn't necessarily going to happen. Um, yeah. Because he's passing with that much mana, we know he has Intimidating Roar. Everyone knows he has Intimidating Roar. We have to end round. Um, okay. Because right now, the only thing we have on him is that we have a Netherglade Collector. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, interesting. So now we drew the Atrocity. Okay, there is the Leviathan. He is now tapped under... Uh, Intimidating Roar, this is a critical turn. 
Um, we play the Neverglade Collector every single time here. Um, gotcha. So the only thing he could do then is deal Tempest and Ravenous Flock. If he had one. Yep. Okay, beautiful. So now we uh, we just chump block out. Um, you know, chump block card draw. I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, chump block for um, particularly board space because we're gonna want to play um, the spirits here, the two mana haunted relic. Uh, so so yeah, you, you this is a good block. We we might have well actually we should sort of see how this goes. Okay. Okay, there's the other atrocity. That's huge. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, you know, we don't have lethal this turn. Haunted Spirits is always good here, though, because um, we think he has Intimidating Roar. Uh, as a result, we don't want to do anything at slow speed next turn. Uh, so we should Haunted Relic and then Bark Beast. Uh, oh, wait, actually, oh, do we Haunted Relic and then Bark Beast, or do we... Uh, Bark Beast and then Haunted Relic, because... Oh, interesting. Um, let's look at the board again. Um, oh, there's this is so much more math than I was expecting to do right now. Um, I think we Haunted Relic first, and we don't Bark Beast. Okay. That's insane. Okay. All right. So now we end the round. So if I were to Bark Beast over here, would that still drain one? Or no? It would not, because obliterating a unit doesn't actually count as a death. Ah, okay. Um, so just yes. So that's an end round. Okay. So now we open attack with Omen Hawk and Elise. And this is an attack. Okay. We're threatening a lot here. He has to do something. Uh -huh. What is it going to be? Okay, so keep in mind, you know, this game is all about being the one that gets to react. So we uh -huh. have enough mana for both atrocities this turn, and that's uh -huh. super important. Like, we have just enough mana for both atrocities. Like, gotcha. I cannot express to you how impossible this would be to win if we didn't have that. Um, okay. Uh, because we know that he might try to stun for a kill, then, okay, interesting. All right. So he's going to life steal. He's going to life steal off of that. Um, uh, look at the Oracle's eye right now. Uh, the, or yeah, yeah. Okay. If we... Uh, so let's atrocity the bird into his face. That threatens lethal. Into his face? Into his face. Uh, so now do that and look at the oracle's eye. So how does that, we're just doing two, oh, because you've got... Yes. So. Yes. But the Elise is stunned. The Elise is stunned, but it's still, uh, the, the Yasuo kills her, um, so... Uh, the Neverglade okay. drains. Okay. Exactly. Uh, so we just okay this? Okay this. Because he's dead, in theory, if he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but then he's going to have another stun. Yeah. Which is then going to kill the Omen Hawk, and then we atrocity again <laughs> for the win. Literal mega galaxy brain. <laughs> I'm so glad we have this Oracle Eye here. I know, right? I mean, like, this is the... It's so cool, because that's the most boring part of the card game, and they just take... He's like, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, all right. He's very tentative. He doesn't know what to do. What is he going to do? 
This is gonna be like concussive palm. This is probably con is he like what is he doing? Has he played it yet on your side? Oh, okay. There's the concussive palm, and then we play the next uh, atrocity. Can you look at the oracle's eye? Uh, okay, right. So then we do the next atrocity on uh, our Elise on his nexus. Uh, Elise on the nexus? Uh, Elise on his nexus, yes. Okay. So that puts him at negative one. Uh, okay. uh, now, I, I think it might have been the same thing if we just atrocity the bird again. Um, okay. But this just maximizes damage for no reason. And look okay. at everything resolves and you get to watch this beautiful tapestry unfold before your eyes. That was, uh, that was quite a last turn. Right, right, right. And I mean, like, the, so some people call They Who Endure an aggro deck. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't fault them for that because it can sometimes play a little aggro and a lot of aggro, game, uh, aggro decks in uh, Legends of Runeterra have kind of late game combos. But... Um, but this is sort of a demonstration of why I don't think that They Who Endure is actually a, uh, an aggro deck. I, mm -hmm. that game played identically to, like, a control V mid-range, uh, yeah. game. Um, so he was playing kind of controlly, and we were playing, uh, very mid-range, uh, oriented. Uh, mm -hmm. so I think that... This deck is a mid-range deck, but oh. some might disagree.